1,500 songs in the last 50 years. Songs like Everything's Coming Up Roses, Three Coins in the Fountain, and People. Now, Julie is not exactly what you'd call shy. I mean, try to keep him away from the piano at a party. Anyway, when he was asked to put together a nightclub act, he just happened to pull one out of his pocket. It was a hit on top of, of the Rainbow Girl on top of Rockefeller Center, and I've asked him to do it here again tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Julie Stein. I finally won the Academy Award in 1953 after seven losers. I had seven of the best songs I'd ever written lost every year. You know, you go there, you're ready to stand up, you fix your tie, and they announce Sal Schwartz. <laughs> Nothing to do with me, and you go back and you sit down. Finally came that moment, and uh, they announce your name, and you quickly run down the aisles, and the aisle and you run up on the stage you know every year a famous music celebrity uh gives you your award and it was my good fortune in 1953 and the name was announced by the late bing crosby and it was one of the thrills of my lifetime to have him of all people give me my award but i won the award and you know uh before I won the award, and I take you back. You see it, the exposition first, you see, uh, to my story. I was living with Frank Sinatra at the time, you know. We had great fun. I had gotten my divorce, and he had gotten his divorce, and we were kind of good for each other. Uh, used to get drunk, used to drink it up, you know, and uh, Frank said to me, hey, I think you're gonna win it this year. You know, God speaks, he says, oh, you think you're gonna win it? So I said, so what do I do? He says, so get yourself a new tuxedo. I, so uh, I called my tailor and I said, uh, hey, you better whip me up a tuxedo. I need it in six days. It doesn't matter. Speed is the most important thing. And uh, the tuxedo arrived the day before. A few alterations uh, I did quickly. And as I accepted my award with my tuxedo, you know, it was televised, uh, a telegram came to me. Thank you. Well, I quickly opened the telegram. No uh, congratulations from my tailor, but all the wire said was, Julie, I've got to take the left shoulder in an inch and a half. <laughs> well, here's the song. Here's the song that won the Academy Award. next song and the next song has to do with another story and it has to do with Barbara Streisand of course Barbara I saw first in a show called I can get it for you wholesale and she was she fascinated me long before I ever knew I was going to even do funny girl there was no such show as funny girl I went backstage just to tell her as I I'm a I'm a, a bug for anybody that's talented, that talent. And I went back to tell her, you're the funniest girl and you've got a hell of a voice. You ought to sing ballads, is what I told her. Went backstage and I must say, I saw this weird character. She wore a red Russian coat, as I recall, with black boots. And I think her purse was in the shape of a whip. <laughs> with a caracal black hat. And uh, I said, Barbara, you are one of the most terrific can i buy you dinner friday no she, she, friday night she said yes she said where are you going to take me <laughs> i said uh, would you like it's so close to the theater we'll walk across the street go to sardis she says you know anybody there they don't give you good tables there <laughs> i said barbara don't worry they know me there and then out of that we'll have a front seat she said well okay pick me up after the show friday night so i arrived friday night I climbed up those four stories, you know, she was on the fourth floor then with a little, with all the gypsies up there on the fourth floor. <laughs> she was the star gypsy. Uh, 
Anyhow, I walked up those four floors, and she says, oh, hello there, you came. I said, naturally. Uh, she says, you're all dressed up, you look different. I said, Barbara, are you ready? She said, I gotta tell you something. You know, since I saw you last, tomorrow morning I'm gonna marry the star of the show, Elliot Gould, you know him? I said, no. So she, I said, so what? So you're gonna marry him? She, she says, so it's all off tonight. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you something, in a way I was glad because I, I would look like, I'm certainly glad I didn't have to walk in the Sardis with her in that getup with that rush thing. With, <laughs> anyhow, that song and my great, great belief in her against everybody else connected with the show, the exception of Jerome Robbins, uh, made this song possible and made her, I guess, made her, gave her identification for the rest of her life. Someone in this room is very dear and was part of my first growing up in the theater, actually. It was the first time I wrote dance music for Robbins in high button shoes. And uh, Little Peanut's sitting over there, I love her. She was the premier dancer in high button shoes. And then again later on, she played Tiger Lil in Peter Pan, for which I wrote the score. And this is just for that dear, dear little girl. <laughs> <laughs> 